Hey guys, welcome to uh, episode 40 or part 40 of the Celtic Let's Play on uh, in the Premier League on FM13. And this is uh, the Southampton game then in the, on the 20th of February. So we're really steaming along now to the end of the season. Well, we're actually now about three quarters of the way through, aren't we, nearly? Um, the uh, Southampton team then, we have Lambert, Ramirez, Mackey. Jamie Mackey, is that? I thought that was a bit different then. I was like, hmm, that doesn't look right. Yeah, Jimmy Mackey's now at Southampton, uh, obviously, you know, and oh, this is that foreign guy we were going to get last season, but he, he didn't want to come, which is strange, as he's Norwegian. And, you know, Liverpool, Norway, they go hand in hand, don't they? Obviously. Um, <laughs> we've got Rebello and Hooper up front. All Brighton's going to start. Uh, he's still not completely on the match fit side. I don't know what it is about the fucking reserves. They don't appear to play games, apparently. Um, Brocky's another one. He can't. They can't get them match fit, so I'm, I'm just going to have to throw them in, even if they're not match fit. Johnston continues on the right, uh, since he's on a really good run of form, and Pogba and Wanyama come in. Uh, Owen Hargreaves is also not match fit. Um, let's see, we've got any good ones here. Fraser Forster has not conceded a goal in 469 consecutive minutes of football. That's impressive. And now there's Gary... Well, Gary Hooper is nearly... Okay, now... <laughs> That's pretty much, yeah, the same amount. So basically what we're going to need is we're going to need Fraser Forster to concede for Gary Hooper to score. That's not going to work, is it? So Southampton, uh, you saw how they were in the league. They're just behind us. Um, hopefully I yeah, keep the run going, lads. Let's go. It's a home. Very winnable game. You know, it's not as if uh, you know we're going up against Chelsea. This is what I mean. We're going to we're going to win against like City, Chelsea, etc. But we're going to get beat by Southampton. And I was hoping Ambrose was going to prove me wrong there, so I could go, no, we're not. <laughs> but he didn't, because that was not a good match. Well, it was a decent header, it was just right at the goalkeeper. Um, right, okay, we're going to go on control, since that seemed to do the job against Watford. And what did I tell you? Right on cue, there's Morgan Schneiderlin. Very, very overpowered on this game. <laughs> no, I, no I, I genuinely think he is overpowered, not because he's a bad player. I think he's an extremely good player on FM12. I took Southampton uh, to the Premier League, of course, and managed to get them into the Champions League before stopping for some reason. I can't remember why. I think I just got bored of it. And he was one of the standout players. I was like, how the hell is this guy in the Championship? You know, because obviously Southampton were in the Championship at that point. Uh, here's Brian Rebello. What can he do? Well, not very good. It's uh, not hit the target. I mean, at the end of the day, it's got to be good. It can only be good if it's hit the target, in my opinion. And yeah, that knew this would happen. I could just see it a mile away. It's it's just FM all over. Oh, that's a poor pass. Thought when Yami was struggling to get there, and is Julie De Prado, who I don't think is very good at all, actually. And I'm going to regret saying that. Right, what can we do here? Is Michael Brighton plays it to Rebello, who just needed to flick it on. Gary Hooper was in space, but here's Danny Johnston. Can he pull it across? Gary Hooper still can't fucking score. Oh my god, even from like a yard out, he still can't score. Right, okay, um, I'm tempted to go attacking, but I don't want to, but I think with this Southampton attack, oh, yeah, I think we may actually have to go attacking, uh, otherwise we're going to uh, struggle. Oh, Gary Hooper, man, he's an absolute liability at the moment. Then again, I mean, obviously, Junior Hoyle is out for a while. Look at, oh my god, where's, where's the fence? What's Wilson doing? This are in again. Nearly, it's a good save from Forster. I don't know, just the injuries, man, killing me. Here's Ambrose, that's a free header, that's twice he's had a good chance. This one a lot easier. Mulgrew, what can he do? It's deflected and wins the corner. Goodness me, it's getting more frustrating as the game goes on. Ambrose again! <laughs> What's going on? That's three glorious chances he's had, and he's not even come close. I think he's, one's been on target. Even then, that wasn't really at much pace, was it? Don't jump in. God, I thought Wanya was going to fly in there. Jack Cork... Well, Forster actually went out to meet that, so it wasn't a great... T yeah, look at this. Why did he get dispossessed so easily? This doesn't happen usually. Right, Lambert, this is dangerous. Don't... Ugh. What have I just said 20 seconds ago? Don't jump in. You absolute clown. I knew I knew we were going to lose this. If I if I would have put money on it, I, I would have done. Or if I could, sorry. If I could, I would. Fucking pathetic. Unbelievable. Charlie Mulgrews. Fuck me. Look at that. Can, oh, fuck's sake, I hate this game. It's just, it's like, uh, why? Why does this happen? You you are able to, uh, to beat Chelsea, and that's got to be a goal, surely. There you go. You're able to beat Chelsea and Manchester City, but then you're getting twatted by Southampton. I can't explain it. Right, one final chance to draw level. Ambrose, oh my God. I think Wilson was going in there as well. He took that right off his head. Well, we've got, well, we're still in it. 
Bit, this reminds me of Liverpool um, at uh, Southampton last season. Very, very poor. Um, Gary Hooper, I'm sorry. He, I, I might, I don't know whether to take him off or not. Actually, no, he has scored. He has just scored, to be fair to him. More forward, push higher up as well. You have to be careful. Actually, you have to be careful because the tactic if you have uh, used it it is push up that is well whoa, 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 that is way too high yeah for the, for this team that is way too high no wonder we've been banging them in yeah go on I'll, I'll do that, that, that they're, they're only the, the these sliders are the only ones that I have really messed with um, and I've done the focus passing passing is the same not much time wasting and yes they do play the offside trap Um but everything else is default. I did try fluid for a while, but um, I just felt it, it. I don't know. I just felt I don't like having just one thing. I'd rather just have the default. It just messes around too much. And I, I sort of, I sort of alternate with these, sort of on and off, you know, at the playmaker. But yeah, I think hopefully that might stop the. I mean, it was obviously working as you know, Forster hadn't conceded the goal in what was that four hundred and seventy odd minutes. So. It was clearly working, but you know, in this game we got caught out. Don't know why or how. Denny Johnston getting a getting a yellow card. Denny's been quiet, hasn't he? Needs to do a little bit more. I don't know. He obviously, he's a winger. He's not looking. Obviously, he's playing as a winger, not a striker. But here he is now. Can he do that? That's a nice ball for Gary Hooper, who's got to score, and he does. There we go. We bring it back. Well, I just said Denny Johnston. He's been a bit quiet, hasn't he? Um, and uh, there you go. Lovely ball over the top for Gary Hooper, who has two now. Like London buses, aren't they? Typical. Well, a good game, nevertheless. I'm sure you're you're enjoying it. I'm not. There's Gaston Ramirez, who I really do. Th I'm gonna again. I'm gonna regret saying this. Uh, <laughs> I think we dodged the bullet last season, Liverpool. Uh, we were gonna buy him, of course, and then we saw him in the uh, Olympics, and he was actually looked quite good in the Olympics. Gary Hooper, oof, he actually looked quite good. He's got a good free kick, if I recall, at Old Trafford. It was Old Trafford, yeah, I think it was Old Trafford, and uh, he actually looked quite good. And then South he just went to Southampton randomly, and it's like, hey, what are you going there for? They've just come up. You know, I appreciate they're a good team, but why are you going there? You know, it'd be like um, it'd be like someone now going to Villarreal if they just got promoted. Have they just been promoted, actually? I don't know. As you can see, I'm waffling because the game is terrible. Uh, I don't need to. We're going to bring off. Okay, we'll bring off um, Rebello. God, Kelvin Wilson's been terrible. I need to look at that. God, 5.1. It's not, okay, it's not quite the 3.5 that I've seen before, but good God. Right, okay, we've got 20 minutes. 15 now. And this is going to be a dangerous one. It's another fucking penalty. Another fucking penalty, man. I thought one. I th look, I, I'm getting sick of these penalties. This is this is ridiculous. The sheer amount of penalties lately is just unreal. I don't know what it is. I've not even. I've not got to get stuck in or anything like that in there. I, I just. I don't get it. I literally don't get it. Right, take this clown off. He's been well. He's been anonymous. He's not done anything. I know he's not match fit, but that's not the point. Uh, fuck me, I don't know. Take Scott Brown. I guess we'll take off uh, Pogba. He's not been bad or anything. He's just, just you know, gives me another attacking option, I suppose. And that is a terrible ball. But there's one Yama. That is a one player I didn't want to go bulldozing through there was Victor Wanyama. <sighs> fuck me. Right, hang on. Whoa, pause, 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 pause. pause. Fucking hell. Okay, we have to take more risks because I'd rather lose 4-2 trying to equalise. His early crosses, I think that might work with this team. It's got a little pace, but they're making it all happen. Not all happen here, just go right through. Oh, maybe not. Charlie Mulgrew, terrible free kick. I thought he was better than that. I think that might just be the only highlight then, is it? Yeah, that's going to go all the way through. Final minute, which it does show anyway. It always shows the last sort of 30 seconds or so. That is infuriating. Once again, we've been undone by the game's absolute fucking... I don't know what it is. It's, it's got this real problem at the moment. I, I was going to say something else, but I'll just call it a problem. Of penalties. I don't know what it is. Why there's so many fucking penalties. And it's not... I'm not talking about conceding penalties. I'm, I've, I've had plenty as well. Don't get me wrong. I don't know saves. Okay, we haven't got it today. Um, But... You know, I, I genuinely don't understand why there's been so many penalties lately. 
and quite honestly I think it's ruining the game the amount of times I've said to the amount of times I've had to say about FM13 something is ruining the game is getting a bit stupid now it happened at the start and it's happening fucking again it's, it's so frustrating 14 goals and 36 that's not all bad so it does show that he can do it in the Premier League certainly so if I lose I guess it no, but that, that, that's not the point though we were on a really good run you know, we haven't lost for, well, over a month. Look at that, yeah, five weeks we haven't lost for. That's not bad. I'm sure you'll agree. Um, but I knew we were going to lose it. I could just tell. could just fucking tell. Right, next game then is going to be against West Brom. Uh, that FA Cup game, incidentally, we, we got drawn against Newcastle, who we're going to be playing. Well, look at that. We've got Newcastle, Man City, Newcastle, because that's how the game works. Uh, so, yeah, that is a massive pain in the arse, uh, and I don't like this game. Um, and I'm sick of the penalties. I am sick to the back teeth of penalties. I don't know what it is since uh, since the sort of April May update that just appears to be a just a stupid amount of penalties for both sides. So thanks for watching. I'll see you for the West Brom game. Bye bye.